This multi-part series, created by Lift Kids, will attempt to familiarize individuals with the limited amount of available freshwater around the globe and how some of the more arid regions of the world can take advantage of rainwater harvesting. The Lift Kids organization has specifically partnered with the Bharatiar Community Center in rural southern India to establish a global water school. This school will teach the local population about water harvesting and sustainable agricultural practices. This part of the series will explore the issue of water scarcity and introduce the listener to rainwater harvesting. The next part of the series will address the impact that one school can make in regards to rainwater harvesting. The third part will discuss community impact on rainwater harvesting. And the fourth part will reveal what an individual can do to make a difference. Why is water scarcity a global issue? Because it is something that should concern us all. Water is a critical resource that is often taken for granted. Water is the life's blood for humans, crops, farm animals, fishing, and sanitation. Less than 1% of the world's water supply is available as usable fresh water. Every living thing depends on water's life-retaining force, and this small amount of water must support us all. One of the problems with freshwater accessibility is that it is either tied up in glaciers or arrives in the form of monsoons and floods where it cannot be properly utilized. It is also worth noting that groundwater pumping currently exceeds natural replenishment in densely populated areas of North America, China, India, and Mexico. Experts state that there is the same amount of fresh water on Earth today as there was 2,000 years ago when the population was about 3% of its current size. Urbanization is increasing the demand for water, generating more wastewater and changing patterns of demand for agricultural products. Agriculture uses an enormous amount of water. For instance, it takes approximately 1,000 tons of water to produce one ton of grain. There are many factors behind today's water scarcity lack of human capacity and knowledge of rainwater harvesting, lack of adaptive institutions like the Bharatiar Community Center's Global Water School in India that teaches water harvesting practices, lack of finance to build educational centers like the Bharatiar Community Center, and a general lack of good governance. So, how is water scarcity defined? There are two types of water scarcity, economic and physical. Economic water scarcity occurs when there is a lack of investments in water or lack of human capacity to keep up with the growing demand of water. Symptoms of economic water scarcity include little or no infrastructure development which results in people not getting enough water for agriculture or drinking. Much of sub-Saharan Africa is characterized by economic scarcity, where further water development could ease poverty problems but currently lacks the funds to do so. Physical water scarcity occurs when available water resources are insufficient to meet all demands. Arid regions are most often associated with physical water scarcity. Symptoms of physical water scarcity include severe environmental degradation, including river desiccation, pollution, and diminishing groundwater supply. There are approximately 900 million people currently living in river basin areas where the basins have dried up and another 700 million live where the water resources are fast approaching depletion. In fact, approximately one-sixth of the world's population, that's over one billion people, lack access to potable water. At any one time, 
Half of the world's hospital beds are occupied by patients suffering from waterborne diseases. Over one third of the world's population has no access to sanitation facilities. In developing countries, approximately 80% of illnesses are linked to poor water and sanitation conditions. Every 15 seconds, a child dies as a result of water deficiency, be it unsafe drinking water, waterborne disease, lack of hygiene, and or sanitation. One out of every four deaths under the age of five worldwide is due to a water-related disease. Estimates have been cited that $8 in cost avoidance can be realized with spending as little as $1 on water improvement projects. The competition for scarce water resources is intense and is a constraint to acquiring food for hundreds of millions of people. In many basins there is not enough water to meet all the demands or for rivers to even reach the sea. In some places water is abundant but getting it to where people can use it is difficult. In developing countries it is common for water collectors, usually women and girls, to walk several kilometers every day to obtain water. Once filled, water containers can weigh as much as 20 kilograms, which is equivalent to 44 pounds. Some of the factors relating to the depletion of fresh water are poor drainage and irrigation practices. How does rainwater harvesting fit with the big picture? The old way of thinking was to make investments or provide donations to meet the needs of the poor on an ongoing basis. But the new way of thinking is to provide the poor with the means to become self-sustaining. One example of self-sustainment would be the ability to raise food utilizing the captured rainwater. If the water harvesting techniques being implemented at the Bara TR Community Center could be replicated across India and other developing countries, they could achieve phenomenal results. For example, Kenya's arid landscape and population of 40 million people has enough water harvesting capability for six to seven times their population. Ethiopia, with a population of 90 million people, has enough water harvesting capability for five to six times their population. It is important to realize that water conservation is the easiest and most inexpensive way to address water shortages and while one might think it is common sense, that doesn't mean it is common practice. Water conservation can be as simple as developing the habit of using a little less every time you use water. If we each save a little, we all save a lot. Further education is needed throughout the world to help individuals and villages understand the benefits of rainwater harvesting techniques being utilized at the Global Water School. Here are some of the ways that you can get involved. Become an activist for rainwater harvesting. Get involved with the Global Water School at the Bara TR Community Center in India. Go to liftkids.org, check out the site, and make an online donation or get involved to help a sustainable water harvesting village.